strong. So I'm going to show you how to make an edible summer or class bookshelf for your class. Okay, so I'm going to show you first with my template that I created and I'm providing access to that with a link below so you can use my template. Um, go to the description, you can uh, click on the link and use my template. And then I'll also show you how I would do it if I was just going to make it from scratch. Alright, so first let me show you what this actually looks like. So this here is my um, bookshelf template. If you notice here in the instructions, this is edible and customizable. Um, so you can keep an up-to-date bookshelf for your class. Um, there are slides that have different books that you can pick and you can resize them. There's a page for extras, I'll show you that. And this is sized to 24 by 18 so that you can actually print it as a poster or you can scale it down for the web, etc. Right, and if you were going to use this in another slide, what I would do is I would just export. Um, so I'd go File, Download, and I would uh, actually like download it as a JPEG and use that as a slide because it's much bigger than a normal slide. And that's purposeful so that you could actually print this out and put it in your classroom. All right, so here are some of the different books, right? And there is sort of like the book binding, there is the title, there's the author name, and I'm going to show you. So there's many, many, many pages of different um, sort of templates that you can be using, right? Um, and I'm going to show you what this looks like with some examples that teachers have used to create. So here is some of the bookshelf extras. These are all editable and you can like move the um, arrows around for summer reading, challenge reading, honors, differentiate, got little like bookends. Uh, for a liter literature circle or differentiated reading or just plain. Also, like if you want to put in flags, if you're doing some sort of like uh, different country reads. Um, so there's lots of different options. And of course, you can add to it as much as or as little as you want. Um, here is some example of middle school shelves. So here's a bookshelf. And for this, you're, you know, you have the books. You also have some on slants. Um, and you have all the book lists here. The nice thing about this too is like if you wanted to, you could also make some of these links too. So that's a, an option as well. Um, if you go here to the plus right here, we have um, a class bookshelf sort of template where you can put in the title and like the title here and add the text. Of course, you can delete anything. We also have a, you know, example a blank and also a, like a title page and if you ever want to like change any of that um, what you would need to do is just go into slide and edit theme and this is where you can go in and you can see these are just sort of the templates that I've, I've uh, created if you wanted to change some of the defaults. Okay so let's look some of these bookshelves. So this is middle school and here you can see here's a bunch of the different books and like you can change the text color, and the text fonts and all sorts of stuff um, to make it look more like the actual book. And you can also, you know, be adding flags and like rotating everything um, because it's all in one piece. You can actually just be rotating it and like doing a whole bunch of different stuff with it. Okay. Uh, here's another bookshelf. You can see this is also sort of like rotated. So if you have like less books, you can sort of spread them out. Um, you can like point to one for summer reading. If you have a lot more books, you can sort of like, you know, put one on top of the other and like sort of like stack them up. Here you can see like this is like a challenge. I also do want to show you that you can get really sort of creative with this as well. So here's some more sort of bookshelves. Um, and if you want to, you can make it even bigger. And if you want to get really creative, you can see here on this book one, the, these right here, this is just like drawings and little shapes that were added. So you could actually take one of the sort of very plain book and then like you could be using some of the draw tools. So here, you know, you could um, be doing the scribble tool and you could be like scribbling on here, right? And changing the color and all sorts of stuff. Like you can really go wild with what you want it to look like. Um, and then also, as this teacher did here, use the scribble and then also under the shapes you can also be using some of these as well 
So there's lots of things that you can use. You can use all this kind of stuff here and the shapes um, and even the polygon line to sort of like jazz up your, um, your sort of book covers too, if you wanted to make it a little bit more fancy. So I'm just gonna delete these. Um, so again, these are some of the examples of what some of the teachers have actually done. Um, and this is all using the custom template that I'm going to let you use in the bottom. Now you notice them like this, this is actually just two pieces grouped together, right? Uh, and grouping things together means it sort of puts it in as one object, so it makes it really easy to be like rotating it and moving it around. So for all these different books, like I can move this around like it's one object, but it's actually one, two, three, three different objects. And you can right click on it and ungroup. It's also the command option shift G on a Mac. I can ungroup it and I can see that this is actually multiple pieces um, that I put there and I can take it apart. So if you wanted to add like two lines to the title, you could do it that way. So then to, to regroup anything, if I actually just select all those objects and I um, uh, control click on it, I can see I can actually group it or command option G. There's more than one way to do this. And that makes it one single sort of piece that you can be moving around. And again, you can double click to get in to sort of change things. And then you can like rotate it. And I think it rotates it all together when it's grouped. And so how I did this was I created all these little like sort of books in another program and then I imported them in here because I wanted them not to have a background and that way um, and also to look a little bit more hand-drawn. Um, so as you saw with some of the teachers, what they did here is like, you know, they sort of went a little um, more creative. You can change the font of this, you can change the color. And the nice thing about the way these books are set up is that I could actually change the background to, let's say, you know, like this and because they're just like you know PNGs and like they're they're not having a background you can actually change the background of the the page itself and again if you wanted to make one of these and then print it out for your classroom you just go file download JPEG now if you're like okay this is really great but how would I just create this on my own what's well, pretty simple because for these you can't actually change any of these backgrounds because these are imported images again you can change the the text and all that stuff like you could change the font and the color and rotation and everything like that but you can't actually change the colors of any of these and again i give you lots of options but say you have something very specific you want to do uh, i'm going to show you how to do that now again they're not going to look as hand drawn as the ones i have here but it's pretty easy all you would want to do is use the shape and you'd use a shape tool to create your book bind all right and then you would just I would probably make this have transparent background. And then let's make it a little bit darker. So let's pretend it's maybe like a darker color like this. Um, and then you just use the text tool. So here's my text tool. And I would just go in here and I could do title and drop this in the middle. And I would just rotate this, holding down shift sort of rotates at a more um, specific angle. So you can see it's doing by like fives and tens um, to make sure that it doesn't go off course. And then I would just move it over, um, move it up. And I would make the author name, I would make this pretty small. And then I would take this and I would group it. So that would be how you would make the different books all on your own and then you can like you know, like, you know, move them along. Hold down option key to duplicate them. Okay, so that's how I would do it if I was making this from scratch. Again, it's really easy. You're just using a shape and a couple text boxes to but if you want to be using my pre-made template, go ahead, it's the templates at the bottom and feel free to share when you're done. And again, I'm gonna show you one more time what it looks like for some of the different classrooms. Um, so let's go through some of these uh, books. So lots of different options. Uh, again, here are some of the bookshelf extras and like flags. Again, you would just you know find a flag and then add it, but you could use some of these pre-made flags that I have here. Um, and so you can see, this is what it looks like. Lots of different options can be as 
plain as this or as like fancy. Um, so yeah, these are different bookshelf options and you have sort of two ways. One, use the template I provided down in the description. Um, and two, you can just make this from scratch. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe for more. So comment down below if you have a specific request. All right, have a great day.